Chris with Made Right of Highland Ranch in Denver. And today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and clean and reassemble the protein vacuum pipe. Uh, obviously, you take off all the external parts first and you flip it over. On the bottom side, there is a total of six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six of these screws need to be removed uh, to be able to take off the top plate. Uh, you use a special screwdriver. I don't remember the number, but I'll put that in the information to remove it. It doesn't matter what order you take out the screws, as long as you take them all out. I already removed one of the screws. And they may end up sitting in there, but as long as it's undone, you'll be able to take it off. So once you're done taking out the screws, you flip it back over, and you start at the back, and you pop it up, and it'll come up just a little bit. And then underneath, there's the beater bar. You push up on that, and the rest should pop up. Like that. And there's the top half, which you take off. Next, there are two more screws. These are short screws. One is here, and one is here. We'll remove those. And you need to remove the foot switch. Be careful, there is a spring underneath. And that should just kind of wiggle out. And then this white part should pop right up, <laughs> hopefully. Sometimes it's a little tricky. The only thing you need to be careful about is uh, these two lights right here. Uh, they can move, so be careful when you're cleaning those out. So there's this. This back neck piece comes out as well, and you can go ahead and clean everything out of here. Next, this beater bar comes out. It, you pull straight up and you bring it out of the little, uh, I forget what you call this, this little piece here that makes it rotate. Both ends of these come off and you can put them back on. Um, this is, you go through Clean out all the hair from around here. Next is the little track along the side. There's hair and different things like that that you need to remove on both sides. And then once that's complete, check each end piece. Lots of times there's hair and carpet that wraps around here, so make sure you remove those. And then after you're done with those, you can put them back into the beater bar. Next, you would clean out the center piece right here. I'm not going to do it because I'm not in a good place, but you remove all this, and then we get back to reassembling. 
if the weights have pulled out when you've taken out the white part, just put them back in their little slot. From there, take the beater bar, put it back in here. And there's two little grooves where this will just pop right back in. From there, you put the white part back on. Be careful with the lights. Reminder, put in the little neck groove. I've done this a lot. and some reason, I always forget to put in the little neck piece. Let me fix that real quick. And the little pokey side goes towards the side that has the motor on it. Try this again. No, this goes on top. All right, now we can screw in the two screws. And then before you put on the top piece, there's the little spring that goes in just this little indention and the foot pedal goes back on. And it should move freely. Then simply put on the top piece, rotate it over, and put in all six screws. And there you have it. There are all the screws are in. Now all you need to do is plug it in and make sure everything works. And that's how you replace or clean out the vacuum.